Hello Virgo, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at general energies for the week of April 18th. I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave their breasts. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as I do daily, weekly and monthly content. Right, before we go further, have you checked out my thumbnail? Quite funny. Though, on the way home today, I saw this lovely smiley face on the streets so i took a picture because it really made me kind of happy and smile you know and i thought to myself look this is how world and universe communicates with us with little signs here and there and i thought okay i'm gonna share that with you guys as well so i hope you like it right are you ready where go let's go wow the sun the empress nine of cups king of wands Wowzers. All right, see? I like it. At the bottom, eight of pentacles. Work, 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 work. Right. And work pays off. You will deserve it. And this is kind of something that you have put in a lot of energy. And probably time, of course. And maybe some money as well. So this is definitely kind of it's showing that your work is coming to, to, to be visible for everyone else as well and the hard working Virgos knows how hard that is sometimes right we have the sun oh, I love the sun who doesn't like the sun when the sun comes in it feels victorious especially we have eight pentacles surrounding an empress and it feels like even though you're working pretty hard on whatever you're doing you're manifesting and things come fruition things are manifesting and look at this victorious um gesture and the sun is yellow which is our solar plexus and the sunflowers here and it's beautiful white horse it is a good time to kind of enjoy it look at that card and you literally want to bathe in that energy you want to surround yourself with this beautiful gorgeous sun energy we have empress next to them you know it's interesting because empress is the mother she's the mother in the tarot and the water that comes from high priestess is nourishing the crops and making very fertile there could be some some of you maybe are planning um um to have babies or are ha having actually one now all right it is kind of good fertile time it feels like really good you know the cushion here as well is supporting the empress so it feels very luxury and you feel very comfortable in in the situation so really comfortable energies here i like when i don't have to even clarify it really talks and it all blends together nine of cups next to that are you kidding where go this is <laughs> chill week not just work of course if you do if you do what you love you probably never will work a day that's the saying, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Nine of Cups talks about um, feeling content. And as well, sharing. You know, the sun comes out for everyone. Even when the clouds are there. The sun comes out every single day. And it talks about as well the faith. The faith, the sun is there. And the way we spread our good energies. Another kind of fiery um, energies here, King of Wands. It's interesting that could be a person you maybe meet that is very passionate or it could be as well that you are in the process of creating something that is really fiery and you know how to take king of wands knows how to take from the idea to the end and manifest it's very good there is no procrastination this energy talks doesn't talk about delays or anything like that it's just go 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 really um things are happening and it's good emotions really good 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 great page of swords all right so page of swords could be actually message here sometimes i might read it, that there's some gossip but it doesn't feel gossip here at all it feels like there's some sort of message we're gonna find out about stopping of isolation all right so there could be some some part of your life maybe that is lacking attention and either that is maybe too much work 
and too little um, home time or friends time. And you need to take time out. And this is a mind card, chariot. And it's interestingly talks about free will. That is a cancer as well. It could be cancer involved here. Okay, high priestess. We have a high priestess here. So there's some sort of definitely connection with if I don't know the person has have you been invited somewhere and you finally kind of feel that you can't leave for some reason and you are really now digging deep to figure out what it is you want and you are asking yourself kind of sh what shall I do what is it is talks about self-discipline. The chariot talks about that self-discipline in mind and going for it. But here, all the cards together, it feels like you have been invited or you've been called somewhere. And you kind of feel trapped. You don't know maybe the, all the ins and outs of the situation. And hence they feel kind of hidden. But definitely action is need to be taken. Yes. The Wheel of Fortune. So action is definitely needed. But look into that. Look, use your intuition. You will know. You will know when you ask the right question to yourself. Have a chat with yourself. No one else can give you the answer. No one. You know. Right. Where it goes. Let's have a look. What we have a clarifier for you. This is another. It collectively feels like there's a lot of spiritual lessons work spiritual work going on kind of emotional kind of time if this resonates with you press the thumbs up of course and if this is your sun sign have you checked out your moon and rising it would be interesting to see what your um messages all together come through as the star reach for the star your wish is granted so go for it okay i can't influence you I can't influence your making decision, but definitely it feels like there is you you have wished for something and don't be the second best. Go for it. And you have the key. Well, <laughs> right. Hence we had the high priestess. You got hold the key to the all answers that you need to reach. And the sun. Twice the sun. Wow. This is interesting. So it's again kind of showing, it's kind of like showing you a way. Go this way, go that way. And this is kind of showing who you are. The world needs to see your talents. You know, the King of Wands, for example, talks about very talents because King of Wands is a talented person. The world needs to see your talents. Set yourself free like a butterfly here. Okay, this is a journey. It is a journey, a spiritual journey. Wow, they're not on a spiritual journey. Wow, it's interesting. It's kind of, you, you feel kind of very, sometimes you have this kind of wall around you, okay? And hence you have these sometimes insular kind of feelings that you are on your own or you're kind of trapped. But let's set yourself free. You have the answers. You have special bond with animals, okay? Your pets on earth and heaven are watching over by angels. Uh, you might get uh, messages from uh, in nature by birds or butterflies as well. Keep charging ahead. Don't take no for an answer. Expect miracle solutions to appear. Look how horse is coming out from the dark into the light. It's like setting yourself free like a butterfly. Wow. That's deep. <laughs> All right. See. Thanks for being here, Virgos. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.